nothing in this country was not a lying tool of Satan. They would spread this truth throughout the land. you spend in law school and practicing law and sitting on the bench, the harder it is for you to understand the Constitution. <laughs> Maybe that's why we must remember that it does not belong to the lawyers. Because like war, the business of understanding our Constitution is too important to be left to lawyers. We must take it back. And we must take it back now. And that finally is the ultimate significance for America of the vote that first was taken in the legislature of South Dakota, where your courageous and godly legislators decided that they would finally do what someone always has to do in the course of injustice in human history. Someone had to go into the Roman arena and finally decry the bloodshed that occurred there every day as innocents were slain. Someone had to take a stand against those who, in the name of religion, ruthlessly tortured and destroyed the lives of those who did not believe as they do. Someone finally had to say no to the years of slavery and oppression. Someone finally had to say no, I will not Go again to the back of the bus, to the back of the room, to the back of the line, but will claim my right as an equal human being. November 7th, the people of South Dakota who go to the polls and vote yes for this law, they will take the stand that alone can restore this nation to its strength. The stand for God and our posterity. For God and our posterity, we must say 
that we shall not yield. For God and our posterity, they must know that we <coughs> shall pray and work and live and vote and fight, but we shall never surrender. <laughs> to the will of God and to restore those ties of respect and obligation that as they must bind us to our heritage, so they must bind us to our future. Sleeping in the womb or lurking in our heart's imagination, yet we shall learn to live again. Not for our passions and not for our lusts and not for our prosperity and not for our self-indulgence, but for the children we can see and whose beauty breaks our hearts, and for the children who are not yet seen, whose suffering calls out to our consciousness, and for the children we shall never know. But who, if we stand firm, shall live to hold a law the banner of liberty and faith and hope that this nation is supposed to represent, not just for ourselves, but for all of humankind. So let this be our slogan and our motto and our call. For God and our posterity, <coughs> we shall stand. God and our posterity take our place upon the wall until it is whole again, until in truth government of the people and by the people and for the people under God and by his mercy is restored to its full life in this our beloved.